intro. Who can imagine a world after the apocalypse? Electricity is gone, factories are silent, and the comforts of modern life have disappeared. In such a world, knowledge is power. And today, we're unlocking one of the most powerful secrets of survival chemistry. How to make gunpowder. This is not just about weapons, it's about fire, defense, signaling, and even controlled explosions for survival. Let's dive into Survival Chemistry 101. Before we start, this video is for educational purposes only. Handling chemicals can be dangerous. Always prioritize safety. And remember, knowledge is survival. The importance of gunpowder, gunpowder has been around for over a thousand years. In a post-apocalyptic scenario, it could become one of the most valuable resources. Why? Because it can be used for hunting and defense, starting fires in emergencies, signaling over long distances, and even for controlled demolition or clearing land. Understanding how it is made ensures that you can create a resource that may literally mean the difference between life and death. The ingredients of gunpowder, gunpowder is made of just three simple components. 1. Potassium nitrate, also known as saltpeter, which provides the oxygen for combustion. 2. Charcoal, which acts as the fuel that burns quickly. 3. Sulfur, which lowers the ignition temperature and stabilizes the reaction. The typical ratio is 75% saltpeter, 15% charcoal, and 10% sulfur. But in a world where stores are long gone, how do you find these ingredients? Sourcing ingredients after the apocalypse, saltpeter can be collected from compost heaps, animal waste, or soils soaked with urine. Nitrates naturally form in such places. You can leach nitrate from soil using water and wood ash, then evaporate the liquid to collect the crystals. Charcoal is simple. Burn wood in a low oxygen environment to create lightweight black carbon. Hardwoods like oak or maple produce the best quality. Sulfur is more difficult, but not impossible. It can be found near volcanic areas, hot springs, or in certain rocks. In ruined cities, you might salvage it from old fertilizers or garden supplies. Together, these three ingredients are nature's chemistry kit waiting for you to combine them. The process of making gunpowder step one. Crush and grind each ingredient into a fine powder separately. The finer the powder, the faster and more effective the burn. Step 2. Carefully mix them in the correct ratio 75% saltpeter, 15% charcoal, 10% sulfur. Always mix gently and avoid sparks, friction or metal tools that could cause ignition. Step 3. Add a little water or alcohol to dampen the mix before grinding it together. This reduces the risk of accidental ignition and helps the particles bind. Step 4. Spread the damp mixture out to dry in a safe, shaded area away from open flames. Step 5. Once dry, you have homemade black powder ready to use for survival purposes. Applications and survival uses now you might ask, what exactly can you do with homemade gunpowder? After the collapse, you can pack it into small containers to create makeshift fireworks or signal flares. You can use it to ignite stubborn fires when dry wood is scarce. It can be used to reload old firearms or power improvised defensive tools. And it can even help clear rocks, stumps, or debris if you're rebuilding shelter. Gunpowder is not just about conflict, it's about survival, creativity, and adapting with science. Safety tips working with explosive compounds is dangerous. Always make small batches never more than a handful at a time. Grind ingredients separately before mixing. Store gunpowder in dry, sealed, non-metal containers and keep it far away from flames, sparks or heat sources. Knowledge without caution is a recipe for disaster. Safety is survival. Outro so there you have. It's Survival Chemistry 101. How to make gunpowder after the apocalypse with saltpeter, charcoal and sulfur. You can create one of the most powerful tools in human history. If you found this lesson valuable, Hit like, share it with your survival community, and subscribe to Survival Science Lab for more life-saving knowledge. Remember survival isn't about luck, it's about knowledge, preparation and action.